Hey guys, this is Tono. Today we're going to be talking about the Age of X. So this is going to be our next year long. We've got a whole bunch of information about it, which is pretty exciting. Um, Xavier obviously being the main character here. Um, you know, the, I, I am insanely excited for this. Um, you guys know how much of an X-Men fan I am. We're going to dive into the teasers. We're going to dive into a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, make sure you do subscribe. We cover, you know, all the new Marvel Strike Force news and everything like that. Mostly aimed towards new players nowadays because I want to make sure that, you know, the new players are getting the, the best experience possible and everything. Uh, so the Age of X is a new year long story that's going to connect all the events in Marvel Strike Force for the next, you know, year. It's going to be similar to like the Age of Mephisto that we're just kind of finishing up now where we had like the Mephisto trials and all that stuff or like the Age of Apocalypse. This is the next kind of big bad um it's the storyline uh where we're working towards uh professor xavier uh and the ultimate reward is xavier who's going to be released in early 2025 so there were some people who were expressing concerns that this is you know straight on the back of mephisto and i'm i'm not even got mephisto you know i'm ages away from mephisto this isn't the case this is going to be a while away um you know, early 2025, I assume this is going to be like, you know, next year for the anniversary or something around that kind of time, you know, March-ish. They usually, you know, take February a little bit uh, simpler. So I would say around March-ish of next year or April of next year, um, you know, it, it's going to be a big reward that we're kind of working towards and stuff. And they have learned from uh, Age of Apocalypse, which we'll talk about a little bit later as well. So these are the kind of mock-ups that they did, some different kind of designs that they trialed and stuff like that. Um, you know, some more, you know, classic. I think this is more like X-Men Evolution kind of thing. Um, or they ended up going with the Krakoa one, which I think is the best version <laughs> of all of these ones. Uh, they did talk briefly about, you know, the the wheelchair version of Xavier um, being a little bit harder for them to be able to do and stuff like that because of the fact that uh, the way the uh, animations are done, they... Um, are done based on like the body type and stuff like that. So if you've got, you know, a body type that's a wheelchair and stuff like that, we don't have a character like that. So this is a way for them to kind of get around that as well as kind of tie into the current versions of the comics and everything and kind of continue on that kind of, you know, the more modern day kind of stuff. Uh, so this is our, our final model here. Um, the interesting thing is that you'll notice is these blue lines here. Uh, that isn't in the Kukrowad version or, you know, the comic book version, but it helps break up the black and stuff like that, makes him appear less like a shadow. Uh, and honestly, I think that it looks better than just the plain kind of black, almost gimpy suit. Uh, I think that, the, you know, the blue kind of helps break it up a lot. Uh, so the ages are overarching stories that connect upcoming content and character choices for the next year. So, you know, for the next year, essentially, it's going to be all about Professor X and that kind of storyline. Now, that's not to say that everything's going to be directly related to the X-Men. Um, the majority of the characters and events will be building towards him. But, you know... There'll be other stuff along the line, along the way, like we know that they've already got, you know, the vampires coming and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, tying them back into Professor X's storyline and stuff. We've had, you know, this isn't something that's unusual. You know, even with Apocalypse, we had like, you know, stuff from like, you know, Red Hulk and, um, you know, Morgan Le Fay kind of tying directly into that. So it's kind of like that. You'll expect that a, a major focus towards, you know, the X-Men and stuff. But, you know, it's about that kind of time with like X-Men 97 coming out and Deadpool and Wolverine and all that kind of stuff happening. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a whole Marvel Universe spanning year long storyline. And Professor X is one of the most important figures in the Marvel Universe. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is why hasn't Professor X been helping us? Um, you know, we've kind of talked about it a little bit in this in the past, as well as in the storylines, they've kind of shown it a little bit where Professor X is just not being around and stuff. Uh, and they directly referenced it. I believe it was in the extreme X-Men storyline where Professor Xavier is missing and, uh, we're kind of looking for where he is. Um, I've got some thoughts on that in a little bit. Um, 
the first week of April, there's going to be an Age of X event. It's a mini ca event campaign with rewards tuned towards both new and returning players uh, and, you know, and veteran players as well. This event has no requirements and it sets up the storyline leading directly into the next showcase event and the next year-long story to come. Uh, Legendaries and other teams will be connected to the overall story of the Age of X, but they aren't designed to be combined into an Apex team. So from what I can gather, they're not designed, you know, where we've got the horse and apocalypse it's not like that it's going to be more like you know some really decent kind of legendaries the story will tie into xavier but not necessarily you know xavier taking all the legendaries and forming a team uh, so this is some more of the concept art and stuff like that, where they added the blue, the helmet lens reference is really nice. I love the kind of, I love this kind of stuff, like showing more of like the concept art and where they kind of built him. I do like as well that they focus more on the back of the character a fair bit because, you know, um, the back of the character is very like, it's, it's what you're going to see a lot if you're playing with Xavier and they gave him nice buns too. That's, that's the best part is that, you know, Xavier's got some nice buns there. Um, so they're incorporating learnings from the Age of Apocalypse. Uh, so the Age of Apocalypse being, you know, the, the big kind of year long storyline and more doing stuff to celebrate and, you know, support that player agency along the way. Uh, Xavier will be a true plug and play character and you have the opportunity of theory crafting and will have the X-Men tag. So, you know, potentially some of that stuff that's kind of opened up for X-Men and stuff like that will be really nice with him uh, as well as, you know, he could potentially slot into like a Mephisto Skrull apocalypse those kind of characters and make like a very strong like war team or something uh, i mean arena team um new and returning players should be able to hop into the game play the events that they love and enjoy the age of x story without having to play catch up so one of the things that they focused on was that newer players didn't really have an opportunity to be able to interact with the age of apocalypse all that much because it took quite a while from what they were saying is that that should be a different it shouldn't be as kind of end game based i think it's from what i could gather from what they were saying um so you know new players should be able to interact with it and i don't know if they'll be able to get to um xavier but you can start kind of working towards that as kind of your big goal there uh the teams that professor x so this is my own stuff this is so that was the the uh media release kind of stuff but this is kind of some stuff that i want to talk about so there's some teams that xavier has been very tied to that we haven't got in the game that we could potentially be seeing uh now we do know that the first legendary is going to be on the mercs for money team the next legendary is the mercs for money team they already confirmed that they already confirmed that panda is going to be on the team they already confirmed that um uh that you know deadpool is going to be getting a rework on that team as well so that's like the next legendary but this is like stuff that we could potentially get down the road so first of all the illuminati uh, you know xavier was one of the key members of the illuminati uh we just got the cabal which is like the dark version of the illuminati iron man strange fantastic um black bolt and namor all of them we've got in the game um uh, so that makes me think that maybe not going to get Illuminati, but, you know, it, it's a potential that we could get some kind of team for it, uh, especially like, you know, Fantastic doesn't have a team. All of these characters, except for Namor, basically don't have a team. So these four here, Namor just getting reworked now to be on like the evil version of the Illuminati, uh, not evil, villainous version of the Illuminati. Um, so... You know, Illuminati is definitely something that we could see down the track. New Mutants, uh, obviously, you know, Xavier's students, uh, his, one of his biggest class, like one of his big classes that he, you know, most famous classes. We've got Chamber, Doug, uh, is that Doug Lock? Yeah, Doug Lock, it looks like. Um, Wolf Spain, uh, Karma, Danny, uh, we just got Sunspot, and then this is, wow. Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh man, someone's going to hate me for that. And magic, obviously, straight there. Magic definitely could use a rework. Chamber, like all of these characters we don't have except for Sunspot and magic. So I'd love to see new mutants. We've got the Shi'ar. If, you, if you're looking at where Professor X has taken off to, the Shi'ar are a pretty fair bet. <laughs> um, he literally has a kid that's a Shi'ar, uh, like half Shi'ar, half him, um, who's uh, Zandra. 
Xandra, I think her name is. She was within the Mr. and Mr. X comic, Mrs. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. X comics with Rogue and Gambit saving her. Um, and, you know, the, the Shi'ar are a very, like an alien race that are very heavily tied into the mutants and stuff. Um, so it really wouldn't surprise me if we got the Shi'ar at some point this year. Uh, and then finally, oh, what is finally? No, second finally, the Star Jammers. Star Jammers is where Professor X kind of, you know, went with them for a while. Uh, you've got, you know, uh, what's his name? Wow, wow. Well, well, I'm completely blanking on names at the moment. Uh, the Summer's Dad. Uh, Scott and Havoc and Vulcan's dad, uh, and then the rest of the Star Jammers, Space Pirate kind of Mercs kind of thing, and then X Corp as well. Um, more along the lines of you know, an actual corporation that Professor X was funding within uh, within Krakoa that were selling the selling off the uh, the medicines for people and stuff. Uh, X Corp is definitely you know, that would be Angel, you know, Manette potentially, Manette, Manet. I can't remember how to pronounce her name. Uh, and, you know, a lot of different characters there. There's some other characters as well that we could definitely see this year um, that have ties to Professor X. So, you know, Onslaught, huge character. Cassandra Nova, no spoilers, but um, she's definitely a character, you know, that's been getting some focus lately. Um, Legion, Shadow King as well. Shadow King was huge whenever when Professor X died because of Scott. Uh, and then Moira McTaggart as well is a huge character that we could definitely see. I don't... Look, if Matt, if you're watching this, please don't do the villainous version of Moira where she's a, a, a tech character and stuff. Please don't. I I, I hated that storyline in, you know, Krakoa. Anyway, uh, and then this was the teaser that they showed us. So, assumedly, each of these four is going to be one of the teams or related characters that is going to be required or used towards Professor X, or at least the storyline. So, the first storyline we can see up here is a wild, kind of Wild West kind of section. You've got, like, a character here in a trench coat with a cowboy hat, etc. This is Outlaw Junction. <laughs> Why? Wait, wait, wait. Thunder... <laughs> Outlaws of Thunder Junction is an upcoming Magic the Gathering set that's set in the Wild West. Uh, well, a Wild West plane. This is freaking hilarious. Anyway, um, so that's making me think of uh, Deadpool Kid, um, which was, which is essentially, you know, a, a, a Merc version of Deadpool from, you know, Wild Westy kind of stuff. Um, that's the only character that I could really think of here. There's some other characters, but given the fact that the character has to be on the Mercs for Money team, assumedly, wait, assumedly, I'm going to say assumedly because this could potentially be, you know, just a showcase event. Doesn't necessarily need to be a legendary or anything. But we'll see. There's some cool stuff that we could potentially see here. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.